my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Today it is the Christmas Eve. The natural response to the season we start tonight is to sing. For example, Elizabeth sang the Hail Mary. Mary sang the Magnificat. Zachariah sang the Benedictus. A noted poet was once asked in an interview if he could explain one of his poems in ordinary terms. He replied with some strong feeling, if I could say what I meant in ordinary terms, I would not have had to write the poem. My dear brothers and sisters, Christmas is a song, it's a poem. The fulfillment of God's promise is the loveliest chant ever. Even the angels came to sing it. Because the mystery of love of God lying on straw in a manger cannot possibly be spelled out in ordinary terms. Tonight is Christmas again. God's word will be there in person as a newborn baby between his beautiful mother, our mother too, and Joseph had a young, faithful and fearless husband with an ox and a donkey. And of course, you and me, my dear brothers and sisters. It is going to be a silent night with a stillness that allows us to hear the song of the angels and accompany them. We start singing tonight and we will carry on singing for the whole season. Because there is no way to thank God for his incarnation in just ordinary terms. My dear brothers and sisters, do you remember the holy eagerness of the patriarchs who sighed longingly for the coming of the Messiah? Blessed be our eyes because we see what many long to see and never saw. We hear what many earn to hear but never heard. Blessed are we who have seen God in a baby, the Creator in swaddling cloths. Blessed are we who have met the Redeemer in a manger. Blessed are we who contemplate Mary holding the salvation in her arms. Blessed are we who stare at Joseph kissing the Son of God. Blessed are we who hear the angels singing. Blessed are we who see the shepherds adoring the baby. Blessed are we who have seen the promise fulfilled. So my dear brothers and sisters, feel blessed at this Christmas. The wait is over. God is here. Emmanuel. He is amidst us. Even the devil trembles now in front of this baby. Because out of love for you, the Creator has come to erase our sins. Today then is the day for us for contemplating, listening, singing and loving. Let's make our way to Bethlehem. As we go towards the Bethlehem, let us go up to the manger, let us go up to the child. Let us take him in our arms and let us dance. Say a warm and tender things to the baby Jesus. Let us press him close to our heart. My dear brothers, I am not talking childish nonsense. I am speaking of love. And love is shown with deeds. A love that is not expressed is not love. That is why God is expressing his boundless love by being a child, by becoming a child. So in the intimacy of our soul, let us indeed hug him tight. Let us ask the mother of God, let us ask our mother Mary, so that she can show her her baby to us. So that we can hold him, we can hold the tender hands, the loving hands. Let us bring him close to our heart, let us bring him close into our house. May this Christmas season, Emmanuel, God is with us, bring us abundant blessings. May we hold on to Jesus ever in our lives. Amen.